a new song that we're going to sing tonight, 380. He was not willing that any should perish. It's an amp thing, so the sound is amplified in certain way if there's a cluster instead of it being <coughs> spread out. Good. Okay. Um, raise your hand if you practice the song at all. Okay, raise your hand if you listen to your part at least once. Okay. Keep your hand raised if you practice. Um, 
I was gonna give a few announcements, but I'll do that after. Okay, so we're singing this tonight. So um, faces, please, uh, you know, pay attention. You have three notes in the whole song, except for that. Uh, there is power. There is power. That's an extra. No, and then you have to obviously go an octave higher on that B flat, but that's pretty much it. You have three notes. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have your part played first, and then after that we'll sing it, all right? So uh, Miss Cass is going to play it.
Can you play in the precious blood of the lamb again? Daddy. <laughs> something about it. Um, so on those echoes, um, they are different notes than the melody. So I don't want you to, I don't want you to mix those two up because the bass note is different than what the melody ends on. So I don't want you to echo the melody, I want you to echo the F. Because if you look at the melody on, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, blood ends on on a C, okay? But your bass note uh, is an F. Yeah. So, Miss Catherine, can you play the C? So, see, do you notice how it's different? So, is everybody paying attention? So, it ends on C, but it starts on F. So, you're not doing in the blood, in the blood, you're doing in the blood, in the blood is different than in the blood, right? Is it, does that make sense? So you're playing, you're singing a different note. And then also for the, of the lamb. See? So it, they're, they're two different notes. So don't echo the melody, echo your part. You have a part, okay? Yeah, does that make sense? Yeah? And also, as you, I don't think you struggle. So, um, I think I think when you're starting to sing bass and there's echoes like that, you kind of tend to just echo what the melody ends on. But that's not what you're supposed to do. Okay, you're supposed to just know your part and then sing your part. Okay. So, also, if you are sitting around a bass that you know knows how to sing bass, 
pay attention to what they're singing because that way you'll just copy them and you'll just naturally get used to singing bass. And then same thing for altos, if you sit around anyone who is an alto, who sings the alto line, pay attention to whoever that person is. Not just in this class, but in church, when we're singing songs, pay attention. If they sit right behind you, you know, that's even, that's even better, you know, because they're just right there, okay? So that's why, that's why, that's why in choirs, you have, um, I remember in, in my uh, old church choir, how the ones at the very top of the row, the ones at the top row were the ones that knew how to sing the alto line, and then the people that were under them were not really good at singing the alto line. They didn't know how to read music or stuff like that, so they just copied the person who was above them. And so that's how it was with, uh, I was a tenor, and um, I would just copy whatever the guy next to me and the right above, the one above me did. And then naturally, I just got used to singing tenor, and I just match. Oh, so when, whenever you see that, that's what that sounds like, and you know, so on and so forth. So let's harmonize, and then um, we'll see how we do. Okay. So Miss Kathy's gonna play your intro.
If you take one from this seat, we'll just put another one there. Okay, that one belongs to you now. Okay, and um, the reason is, um, so you, you you need two things in your life. Okay, you need two things in your life: the Bible and the hymnal. Okay, those are the two things. If you have those two, you're you're set for life. Okay, you don't need anything else. Okay, if that's all you read, if that's if those are all the words that you look at, that is more than fine. Okay? But a Christian should always have a Bible. Actually, let me just go in detail. A Christian should always have a King James Bible and a hymnal. Okay? Now, what hymnal you use, I personally prefer the Bible Truth Hymns because it just there's more variety and just the keys are better in that hymnal. And um, I just like the songs in that hymnal and that's the one that my old church used. And so, um, yeah. So if, if like, okay, uh, where do you put your Bible? Your nightstand or something, right? I leave it, you know, just right there somewhere. But um, there's no, it's always the Bible and then the hymnal. Okay, those two just go together at home. Okay. Now, you don't have to bring a hymnal to church because we already provide you with hymnals. But at home, whenever you see a Bible, there should always be a hymnal right next to it. Because the Bible commands us to sing unto the Lord. And I'm, you're like, oh, here we go again. You know, the song we were talking about singing. But here's the thing is the Bible commands us to sing to the Lord. Okay. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole book in the Bible that's a song book. Okay. So God provided you with a song book. So if he provided us with a song book, then these song books are also you know, appropriate. Because the Bible does say psalms, which is the book that God gave us, a song book, and hymns, and spiritual songs. So the Bible, not the Bible, um, God used man to give us a hymn to sing in church. Okay, Because we don't, we don't really know how the tune went in the psalms that we sing. Okay? We're just, you know, composing them. But um, you should have a hymnal at home. You don't have one. Okay. That, that's... So if you do not have a hymnal at home, or if you have a very limited number, let's say you have one hymnal at home and you live in a house of 12, you should take one for yourself. Okay. Um, you should have one that just you use, just that you sing to sing of the Lord. And... I mean, you all have a personal Bible. There's not just one Bible in the house, right, that you all share. You each have your own Bible. Therefore, you should all have your own personal hymnal, okay? And so if you don't have one, please, please, please take one home with you. We'll just replace it, okay? So um, that pastor has said that from the pulpit, so I'm not saying it. Okay. And um, the other thing is... This class is a singing class, okay? Meaning what we do here is we learn how to sing. And part of that is learning how to sing the different parts of a song because that gets you your mind used to hearing the different components of what makes a harmony. Okay, what makes this song a song is it has notes that you play on an instrument that produce a sound wave that makes a certain sound. And then if you mix certain notes together, they make up parts, they make up harmony that just go together in that key, okay? So, all that to say this, I just wanna encourage all of you. I, I appreciate your effort and your commitment to learning the different parts. I, I, I always love it when, um, when I hear you promoting the class or when I hear you're promoting some other place where you can learn how to sing or asking questions. Listen, asking questions is, just ask questions, okay? To whoever you know can answer the question, ask questions, you know? Um, also, I am looking for participation and effort. So if you're here, that tells me that you want to participate in singing, okay? Now the effort part is going home and practicing and listening to the hymns, okay? 
you participate by coming here and learning how to sing the different parts, your part, but the way that you put effort into that is before you come to the class, you go home and you sit down and you listen to your part and you sing along to your part so you can know it. So when you come to the class, you can actually sing your part confidently, okay? But number one, I'm looking for participation and you're doing that just by sitting here right now. So that's the priority is just participate, okay? If, if that's all you do, I am happy and I hope that you keep coming. But I wanna encourage you all to make the effort to go home and practice singing different parts. Because in the long run, it, it seems tiring and, it seems very tiring and painful right now if you're just learning how to, if you're just now learning how to sing the different parts. But in the long run, it, it's really, it's, it's really rewarding, okay? And so I wanna encourage y'all to do that. And don't be discouraged if someone, if you think that you're not good enough or anything. Listen, I, I am not the best singer. I'm not a good singer, okay? But I'm just up here, just, I, I just wanna encourage you all to sing out loud so that I don't just hear myself, okay? You all, as the, as the church, need to blend together and lift up your voices and be loud and sing confidently. Okay, don't don't worry about sounding weird or um, listen. Just just sing as you would you as you would sing in heaven. That's all I'm asking. Okay, just so just participate. Okay, that's just what I'm asking. Okay, and then put in the effort to learn the new songs. So for next week, what we're gonna do? If you look on the song list, um, I gave you all song list, physical song list, but. Um, I know that paper can get lost. That's why everything's electronic nowadays. So if you go on kjbbiblemusic.com, you can actually see the song list on there. You can go on the three little lines and click song list and click on September and then go down to 9.26 p.m. service. We're singing Joy Unspeakable. He lives. Most likely where the soul never dies, we might, might not. If we do, then we'll go over in the class, obviously. And then, oh, bring your loved ones. So, the first three hymns that are out of the hymnal, um, those are in the key of, e, of B flat. Okay? So, guys, can we lower it down, please? So, those first three songs out of the hymnal are in the key of B flat. Okay? So you can learn how to sing your different part. This this song right here is in the key of B flat. So basis for you, it's really simple, okay? Also, I know it can get difficult, but I will send your parts to all of the songs this week so you can go home and practice. And then basis, same for you. Um, I think I already did that, did I do that? Yeah, I did, so you sure already have it? If you don't, then please, uh, I'll just send them tomorrow. And then um, that's all I have for tonight. So thank you all for coming and participating. We did not get to sing Tana's Blood a first uh, another time, but we will in a few minutes. And um, just be confident and then, uh, sing your part. Don't be shy and be confident on those echoes. Don't hold back. And I encourage you for the rest of the songs to just take the hymn book and just sing out and participate in the singing. Don't worry about what you sound like. You all sound perfectly fine to me. And you all sound even better to the Lord when you're singing from the heart, right? Making melody in your heart to the Lord. It doesn't say from the mouth because a lot of us can't make a melody out of the mouth. We don't know how to sing. So that's why it says make melody in your heart to the Lord. If you're just expressing that out of joy and the first two songs are about the blood. The blood is what saved us. So think about your salvation when you're singing those two songs. And then the other songs, just think about, he was not willing that any should perish. Think about those that are perishing, that need the gospel. And then um, the song, obviously that's straight out of scripture. So that song is just um, majestic in and of itself. And then Tesso Sweet to Trust in Jesus will end on. And so just take the hymnal and just focus on the words and sing out loud and just be confident. And with that, I think that's all. Anyone have any questions about anything? Okay. Thank you all for coming. I look forward to seeing you next week. Okay? So let's bow our heads together and have a word of prayer.
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be here tonight. Thank you for um, uh, the souls that were saved today. I thank you for um, uh, these that have come and participated in the, in the class. And I pray that you would help us just to sing uh, uh, Power in the Blood as we sing our, uh, our different parts. And I pray that you would just bless the song of service in its entirety. Help us to sing out to you and sing praises and make well in our hearts to the Lord. And I pray that you would... Um, Bless the instruments as they, uh, bless the musicians as they play, fill me with your spirit as I lead, and I pray you would, you would just fill us all with your spirit as we lift our voices to you, and please fill our pastor with your spirit as he preaches your word to us, help us to be at five of preaching and to learn, and uh, to grow in you, and bless everything that's said and done tonight, we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. amen.